Well, what's up, Gideon's Tactical Family? It is 2022, Happy New Year. Hope you guys are doing amazing. We made it through the year, and now we're about to kick off and start the new. And I sure hope it's like the Jetsons and not like Soylent Green this year. So we'll find out for us in this world. But in this video, I wanna take some time and answer a question that I've been getting a lot recently and invite you in on our new life, the life of a full-time RVer on the road who also is a full-time gear reviewer. And a lot of you have been asking me lately, how do you store and organize all of your gear in this very tight space of a travel trailer and a pickup truck. How do I do that? What does it look like? And I'm realizing because this last year we turned everything upside down and you know left a dedicated uh, you know stable job. We left friends and family to go full time, and it's been a blast, and we've experienced so much. <laughs> I came in last. Eggs, it's a shotgun with a buzz saw. But having like a dedicated shed that I could store all of my gear and you know have a dedicated office space for all of my um, you know equipment and things like that uh, is a luxury. And and having to organize and store my gear is very, has been very creative. I've had to be very creative in doing that. So I just want to share that with you uh, and take you along for the ride. Maybe give you a little bit of insight on what it's like to be a full time RVer and live out of a travel trailer. Uh, we do have a separate YouTube channel called Live the Trek. If you want to follow along, we'll have a link below. Uh, my wife is run our Instagram page. So she's posting up stuff there all the time. We do regular videos on our RV life. So you can follow along there if you want to see a different side to the Gideon's Tactical family. But we're going to hop on over to the truck first and discuss what I do to carry a lot of my heavier duty equipment that is in the pickup. And Mrs. GT is going to help me out behind the camera a little bit. She's got to have bad hair day, so she doesn't want to be on frame. But uh, we talked about these in a previous video. We are going to hop inside the RV in just a moment to go through pocket knives and you know how I store some of the other stuff, um, packs and gear. But these guys have really been a game changer for me. And these are the Rigid Pro Toolboxes. They're stackable, uh, made in Israel. Uh, really well built. I haven't had any falling apart on me and we've used them daily for six months, not only for all the gear storage, but also for RV stuff as well in our back storage unit there. Uh, lockable, stackable, so many different sizes. But this is my heaviest one right here with all of my fixed blades and smaller like saws, hatchets, um, most machetes, you know, like an SE Hungalist can easily fit inside this one. Um, you know, Tomahawks, uh, you know, my Hulksburg. 20 inch ax just barely fits in there. Um, but this has this is really, really well designed for something like this. It has a little tool tray that I don't use. Uh, I actually left in Denver. But it's nice because it's got this rubberized gasket as well, which helps. We're in super high humidity right now, um, and nothing's really rusting um, because it's basically airtight almost. Um, not quite, but very close to airtight uh, in this tub. So that's how I do my fixed blades. Um, we're really loaded up. I'm about maxed out on size here. So I've got to get rid of my fixed blades pretty quick. Uh, a couple of them, you know, to kind of cycle through. Then over here, these two kind of stack on top of each other. So this is kind of like the catch all for maintenance and for um, data for different reviews that I'm doing. So that one goes there and that rides on top of just kind of like a basket one. And so I have a few, you know, freeze dried meals, tons of paracord, got, um, you know, butt wipes and sunscreen and hand sanitizer and like all that stuff. You know, one of the things that I've always tried to do to set myself apart and it was actually one of the hardest pieces for me to figure out was 
um, using the gear, you know, um, as we travel now, I don't have tons of cardboard and all this stuff that I can just like, you know, go to the garage that I have a giant pile of. It has to be very, you know, concise and very tight. And so I actually have this holds all sorts of random refuse for, you know, rubber and paracord and, you know, used sandals that we're not using anymore, uh, cardboards down in there, old bottles, you know, that I'm going to cut. And so that's where I store all of the stuff that we're going to be testing and, you know, going through on a regular basis. And, and guys, obviously, as always, we just appreciate you so much. Uh, we will have links throughout this entire video uh, below for the gear that I'm talking about, not only for this uh, rigid gear boxes these toolboxes but also just some of the equipment that we're talking about and we just appreciate it when you use all the hyperlinks that we offer to you week in week out if there's a piece of gear piece of equipment that makes sense for you using those hyperlinks literally helps fuel the truck helps keep the trailer going and uh, helps us continue to not only live on the road but also to create content for you guys week in week out that i pray is really um, beneficial and just enjoyable. It's not only entertaining, but informational for you guys. And you'll learn something every time you come here, but you're also entertained as well. And so let's go ahead and hop on into the RV and take a look inside. So as we come into the RV, uh, organization here for the gear is also key because we don't have a lot of space. Obviously there's a lot of like cubbies that sometimes it's very difficult to get access to. It takes you five minutes to get the item. So it's nice that we have it, but you need it on the fly and you need it quick. And so three things that we have right here by the door is medical communication and illumination. Those three things we have hanging right here as you enter the RV so that we don't even have to come in many times, particularly if it's like an emergency with the med kit. This is a VanQuest Fat Pack um, Pro. This thing is awesome. And, you know, uh, yes, it doesn't look elegant as you come in and out of the RV, but uh, with two little kids, I mean, we're in that basically every day a scrape knee a bug bite um you know something is going on that we need to constantly be in that and the possibility of them getting injured is higher than if we had kids that were like 10 and 15 or something like that uh, as they're learning how to ride bikes and they're you know falling off of stuff and playing around and doing whatever you know it's just you're you're in and out of it so often now that's hanging on these two hooks right here that came with the r you know standard with the rv for your coats but we added um, night eyes daisy chain um, straps so these are straps with like three inches of daisy chain all the way through and then you can put as many night eyes gear ties and or uh, carabiners on there that you would like so then you can attach all kinds of other stuff from you know obviously like the broom and you know uh, cooler and all that other stuff but uh, we always have our rocky talkies hanging out right there so that if one of us is doing work around the rv and needs to communicate back and forth or going on a walk uh, you know, it needs to talk and when there's no cell coverage or when it's, you know, moving day, those are just boom right there, ready to rock and roll. Uh, and then finally illumination, you know, we actually put a lot of stuff here on the fridge that magnetized, butt on a lot of your flashlights helps a lot. That's one of those LA police gear ones. That's kind of like the backup when the headlamps don't work, grab that sucker. You know, you're gonna have a thousand lumens ready to go. Some lanterns, some little, you know, glow in the dark things for the kids when they're riding their bikes at night and stuff. And then over here we have uh, the headlamps, um, you know, like an old Olight and an Energizer for our boys. And those, those are their headlamps. And then uh, I'm running still that uh, Phoenix HM65RT, phenomenal. Um, and Mrs. GT grabs that all the time. Uh, and then the backup to that is the lead lenser. So we, she and I just kind of rotate back and forth with those two. So pocket knives and multi-tools, what am I doing to store them? So right now, all that I have in the collection are in these three right here. Now, when we left Denver, I got a Blade HQ rollout and we're gonna look at this guy first. I know these are like about 20 bucks on average. They're really good, well-built. This has been holding up very well. Um, they're really designed to be kind of more of like a display. So this would be great to hang up like in your closet. Now my closet is that big, so doesn't fit there. I got to put clothes there. But if you know your regular at home closet, it's got these two nice heavy duty loops right there, as well as the handle that's really heavy duty. So that could easily handle the weight of your pocket knives in there. And this will do what is it? Twelve. So this will hold. Yeah, four by three. Yep. Um, 12 different pocket knives of basically every shape and size. I've yet to find one that won't fit in there. The little guys, you actually have to like, you know, they won't go all the way down in there and it'll fold over itself. 
Uh, and this is the one that I kind of use as whatever I'm either using a lot or in process of reviewing. Um, and this one will be the one that I usually get access to the most. So, I mean, it's a, it's a great option, uh, but, but the downside to it is that it just doesn't hold a lot, only 12 for the size, basically, as you can see here of these next ones that I'm gonna show you. It's a little slimmer, but these can significantly hold more. These are hyper tough. I was walking through Walmart knowing I needed some more and I saw these and I was like, $12, let's give them a shot. Like what's worst gonna happen? I can always return them if they tear out. These I've had now for about three or four months, zero signs of wear. So just your standard tool roll, right? So let's see what's in this one. Yeah, so this is the, the like dedicated pocket knife one. So there you go. So lots of different sizes. There are a few that really aren't designed for pocket knives, but it would be perfect for say like your torque bit um, driver, screwdriver, or like a mini flashlight, something like that. So some of these down here are pretty tight and you really can't get too many unless it's a very thin style pocket knife in there. But I mean, everything from my Manix to lightweight, uh, that one, you know, is very wide. I, in this one, I can actually get a recon <laughs> from Cold Steel and the, what is it, Air Light, whatever it is right in there. Um, you know, so the, and Cold Steels are big, fat, and wide usually. So the, those will fit in there easily, all that. And then there is this pouch over here that you can easily store like nylon pouches that maybe some of your multi-tools or flashlights come with, or maybe say a sharpening stone, a small sharpening kit could easily fit in there. And then you still got these elastic bands. These look like, cause this is like really well, you know, stitched and reinforced lips. And these have all been holding up really well. These maybe not as much the elastic bands in the middle. There's just a very small stitching piece that I think over time might tear out, but you could even stick a few more in there and let's just do this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven on one side and one two three four five six seven eight on the other so these are kind of like the bigger fatter wider ones these are the kind of smaller narrower ones but that's quite a bit you know that you could get a collection in and for 12 bucks um you know almost it was like 20 i think this is 19.99 i think so 24 dollars, i get two rolls that are going to hold um, a lot more. Now they won't be as displayed as nicely. Here's this guy again, um, just to show you these smaller ones can fit like small, either like Swiss army knives or again, flashlights. And I'll say being in an RV, the positive, even though it's a very small, you know, tight space is you get really creative and I'm more organized and know where more things are way more than I ever did. Um, back at the house. So this next topic, I was a little on the fence on it, whether or not I should show you or just talk about it. And I've decided just to talk about it because there is a level of privacy that I just want to keep for myself and my family. Um, but uh, is firearms. Uh, and yes, we absolutely took some firearms with us. We have them safe and secure so the children can't get into them, um, but accessible for Mrs. GT and I to be able to defend ourselves as ne necessary. Um, you know, worst case scenario stuff. We have absolutely, we had a black bear come up and bump the side of our RV at three in the morning while we were uh, in Larkspur, Colorado visiting, um, which is like 30 miles south of Denver um, and just south of Castle Rock. So, uh, you know, we've encountered wild animals. We've had moose. We've been out in the middle of nowhere, uh, Montana, and we've absolutely had animals around us as well. So being able to, if necessary, defend yourself, uh, even from an animal, you know, is important and the apex predator humanity um, as well. And so um, we did really think through how are we going to do this? Um, and because we're traveling cross country, going through every state, really having to pick firearms that were, you know, uh, nationwide, you know, okay, uh, was something that we had to do. You know, so I had to learn, leave certain firearms back that I would have preferred to take with us. But, you know, I also wanted to take time while we're out. We haven't done it yet, but, you know, train the children with gun safety and those type of things as they grow up. And so I absolutely have like a 22 with us, a shotgun. Um, and then one of the ones that I'm very happy with uh, is the Smith & Wesson, I believe 629, 44 Magnum. This is a four inch 44 Magnum. I bought it before we left as basically a bear gun as we were going through Montana and Idaho and doing a backpacking trip in Wyoming and all that. Um, but it really has, it, it's, it's by no means like a concealed carry gun. I mean, it's a heavy 44 Magnum firearm, but it's fun to shoot. It kicks like a mule. 
um, and it is small enough that we can use it in some different scenarios that I really wasn't planning on for um, you know defense and stuff, which is a, a really nice thing to, to have. So uh, my encouragement to you, if you are thinking of full-time or even part-time, you know, I mean, I think it's good to have a firearm with you. You never know what type of animals or other people. Thankfully, we haven't had any crazies yet um, in campgrounds and stuff, but crazier things have happened. You're going in different environments that you're not familiar with, different cities, different stuff going on in the world. Uh, so I think it's always good to, to um, be familiar with firearms, be uh, good with your gun safety, and then also um, you know have something with you just in life in general. Uh, I think is a very important thing to do, and we've absolutely done that as we travel. Okay, so this next one might be a little horrifying. Mrs. GT is gonna probably be pissed at me for showing you how I store the packs, right? When we're doing medical kits, different types of backpacks, sling bags, you know, there's gotta be a place to store those, and those can take, they're not super heavy in comparison to like the tools uh, and the knives and stuff, but um, you know, they take up a lot of space, they're really bulky, so. There's probably going to be a ton of dirt and dust and kids' toys under here. But underneath the couch, eh, folds up. Yep, sure enough. But boom. I don't know how well you guys can see in there. I can get about, I don't know, four backpacks and or bags at a time underneath the couch. So um, that is the amount of space basically that I am afforded to be able to do gear in the sense of... Um, bags and packs well guys there you have it i hope that this video has been fun and entertaining giving you just a little snapshot into our lives on the road how we organize stuff and i hope that it's given you some ideas on how to organize your gear your equipment and just make it easier to find stuff uh to hit the you know road maybe to store stuff in your vehicle so that you don't have to take an hour you know to set up the night before and you can just be like yep everything i need is in my truck I just need to fill up some water, grab my water purifier, and we're ready to rock and roll. So something like that um, is what I hope to have done in this video. And again, I just encourage you also, check out our RV channel, Live the Trek, where you can follow us along and just see the different side of the Gideon's Tactical family uh, as we live life together. So uh, we love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching today. Uh, stay tuned this summer, this summer, this whole year, 2022 is gonna be exciting and so unique as we get to travel the country in so many different environments and test gear in a whole brand new way. So uh, appreciate you guys so much and uh, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.